Hello, it is the Razaz here bringing you another Thief 17 video and for this video I'm going to be reviewing Alex Del Piero. I was able to get Del Piero by completing some squad building challenges. It was quite frustrating to complete but in the end it was totally worth it because we've got ourselves a 90 rated legend for 20 games. As you can briefly see at the start of the video, I decided to use him at Cam in a 4-2-3-1 formation. I thought, look at his stats, he's best playing at Cam and a picked formation which hopefully allowed him more freedom. Now if we quickly look at his card stats, he has 85 pace, 89 shot, 85 passing, 92 dribbling, 42 defending and 69 physical. He also has 4 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot and medium low work rates. If we look at his in-game stats, which I got from Footwiz, I'll leave a link in the description for that. He has 89 positioning, 93 finishing, 94 ball control and 94 dribbling, as well as some other crazy stats. If you want to pause the video, please do and you can check the full stats. Right, I'll start with Del Priero's main downfall and that is his physical. He is quite weak and furthermore he is on the short side, so he can easily be knocked off the ball. He has 85 pace which is decent, but because he has a low physical, it doesn't mean he sometimes struggles to get to the ball first. However, I did find a solution for this, and the solution is using a chemistry style. Now, I decided to use Catalyst, which adds more pace and more passing to his game. And when I did this, he became a lot more difficult to stop. So my advice to you, if you're going to use Del Piero, make sure to apply a chemistry style, which adds more pace to his game. Now, the key stat for Del Piero in my opinion, is his dribbling, no surprise there, because he has 92 dribbling on his card and 94 dribbling in-game. If you find yourself with Del Piero with plenty of room on the pitch, give him the ball and run at the defence. He will breeze past players. Furthermore, he has 4-star skills, so that means he can do scoop turns for days, which allows him to get out of tight positions as well if need be. Now the other slight disappointment for me is his work rates. I found his position on the pitch quite inconsistent sometimes. For some reason, when I was defending, I sometimes saw him in that CDM role. I'm not sure why, but when I was attacking, his moving up front was really smart. I had Gomez my sole striker, but Del Piero was constantly sprinting past him from the cam position to create a chance for the team. This was definitely noticeable from goal kicks. Every time I had a goal kick, Del Piero was gambling but Gomez would win the header and sometimes he did win the header and was able to create a chance just from a goal kick. This is why I feel Cam is definitely his best position. He can drive at a team from a deep position and create an opportunity but he can also play as that second striker and go and score himself. His shooting is fantastic. I didn't really try many long shots but he did score one for me which is obviously nice. But inside the box I never felt disappointed with his finishing. It was either in the back of the net or just a half chance which nearly ended up in the back of the net. What makes him even better is his 5 star weak foot. That means he can finish either foot, it does not matter him. Matter to him. Just briefly, his to finish, his, his passing, he got me a couple of assists from corners. But he, but he also plays the occasional David Silver through ball and he makes it look so easy. So overall, Del Piero is a very silky player on the game. And no surprises, he is my favourite player so far. I must stress, however, if you want to turn him from a king into a god, you need to apply chemistry style, which improves his pace. Catalyst and Engine are probably the two I recommend the most, particularly if you're going to be playing at Cam, which is where I played him. So there you go, that is my Del Piero review. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, make sure to click the subscribe button. I have been the Razaz, and I thank you all for watching.